Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city, the VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your Foreshadowing. wives? Foreshadowing. Almost. Too hot tempered, even for my tastes. What about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof, you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. So you brought me here to take a look at the peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? <laughs> no chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. Well, shoot. Let me just sleep on these pumpkins here. All right. <clears throat> Got to sneak by the PKs, take care of the infected. Huh? Got it. There's a creature uh, I haven't seen before. What does it look like? Skinny and ugly. Not a, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them. But catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels. Dude, we haven't even scratched the surface on the infected that are out here, man. Really not looking forward to finding out more. Come across this way. Looks like we're going to want to get in there. I don't know how we're going to get around these guys. Are we going to be able to just drop down and do it? Let's see. Nope. We're going to have to lock pick it. Maybe if we lead them away from... Uh, okay. There's just a lot of them. Lead them away. Lead them away. Let's go, fellas. Come on. Come on. Little train. Come on. Follow the light. I think we're going to have to kill him, dude. All right. Problem is, this is just a lot. It's 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 a lot of enemies to deal with. It doesn't matter what level they are. They're all small, low, easy. But... Gotta be careful of our left as well on the flank. Beautiful. Hopefully our machete's not gonna break because we're gonna be in trouble if it does. All right, that is everyone. Yeah, this this guy right here. Might have been useful, but we'll save that for another time. Medium lock pick. Got to be careful. Oh, my goodness. One take Jake, baby. Right. I'm not concerned about this at all. Hopefully, there's going to be fewer down here than in the streets. Me, uh, I'm going to get our... Our stinky pipe out. It's a level two. Shoot, we have limited time. <coughs> Shoot, dude, I really don't want to turn. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. You guys are sleeping? So 
like we might be able to pick up UV shrooms down here as well, so that's going to be helpful. Somebody's moving around here. Bro, he's still trying to get after us over there. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're good. We got to go this way. Just taking a wide berth around these guys. Look at him in there. He's still going crazy. We're fine. Just keep scanning. Watch out for anyone who might be moving. Pick up what you can. Take from the guys that were before you and didn't quite make it. May he rest in peace, but thank you for your donations. Up as many of those as possible. I don't like this, dude. Oh, shit. Okay. I messed up. I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. I messed up. We're good. They aren't all gonna start coming, are they? I think we're good. Holy cow. I dude, I wanted to I wanted to stand up and go get this box. What is this box over here? Immunity's critical, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna have to lockpick it though. That's I, I thought we were gonna be able to sneak into the box and then, you know, run. There's gotta be something good in here, right? Got a table leg. We're fine. Okay. So it's not the end of the world if you end up getting seen. I was worried that like the whole, they would start screaming and the whole Subway station would start coming after us, but we're we're good. <coughs> Search in here. We're fine, man. Don't you worry. Just eat another one. We've got seven more. Got an easy lock pick here. It's gotta be on the far right. There it is. Do not panic, Trev. Panic is your enemy. Some ciggies. Ooh. How do I get you to go back to bed, bro? Just gonna have to do it. Now there's a lot of enemies in here, so I don't know if we want to do this here. Gonna do a takedown, beautiful. Take him out silently. First time we've done that. I'm gonna eat another shroom. We don't have a lot of other time. A lot of other shrooms. We're gonna need shrooms, dude. We can hide in here. Shoot, I'm I'm nervous. We've we've taken this way too slow. We've got four shrooms left. And we've got to get through this entire thing. I don't got time for this. I ain't got time for this. We're good. Found some more shrooms. That's good. We got any shrooms? To oh, those are sleepers. Okay. Don't want to mess with them. Don't want to be too loud either. Let's let's be smart but fast, Trev. Smart but fast. Okay. We got to keep going this way. Ugh. <sighs> 
I'm not sure if, if turning the flashlight on, if they can see that really easily. Holy shit, dude. There's just so many of them. I legitimately hate this. Got some more shrooms. Keep scanning. There's a hiding area right there if we need it. Beautiful electronic parts. Hiding area. Was hoping to get up on him where we could take him down, but we're good. We've got three shrooms left. He saw me. Let's go, you big ugly. Come on, y'all. I ain't got time. I used to have time. I ain't got time now. Shoot. Out of stamina. We're good. As long as there's no like big screamers or anything, we can we can deal with this. Got him. Okay, search these guys. I mean, they, they're probably not gonna have anything, so let's not worry about it. Some more shrooms. Thank the freaking zombie Jesus. Come on, Aiden. Okay. Gonna search this. Four seconds, we're good. One of the good ones there. Decoy. Use decoys to lure infected away. Gonna use another one of these. Ooh, is this? I got to the flare. Yes. Wasted a shroom, but that's okay. Station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up when you get inside. Okay. Oh my goodness, dude. I cannot believe we just made that. I think we missed, uh... I think there was a, a really important... Oh, Jesus, what? A puker! What the hell is this? It's got ranged attacks. I think there was one of those crates that we have to use our key to open up. Situation here. Back on. We're gonna have to deal with it, man. Just put something between you and him. He's down. Just always, always keep something between you and him. Actually, pretty easy. Okay, beautiful. Infected, infected trophy. That's on. All right, I think we're good. I'm. Uh, let me let me put this back on med kit. We should actually probably craft some med kits and stuff. Feel like we have a lot. Of, we've been using a lot and not not putting it back. Got that one there. She's open. I'm gonna go back. Get back on this thing. I was hoping this was going to fill up our infected, but no. It's just paused currently. Anything of interest in here? No. I don't want to mess with these guys either. Okay, safe room. I like safe rooms. Can't go that way. Gonna go through the grate.
I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Okay. Am I safe in here? Well, this is not the intro to the PKs I wanted. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. Doesn't look like a renegade. Hakon didn't set us up, did he? I don't think he did. <clears throat> Interrogation room. He's awake. What were you doing at our base? Uh, I'm we got lost. Trying to get to the city center. The center. <laughs> The tunnel's going to be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always said... Lucas is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? This guy's genuinely interested. Um, what's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger is going to come from. Always new territories. New There's threats. that tattooed rank Hakon told us about. Here to take shelter. I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone. Hmm. Well, maybe I can help you, but not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer, Commander Lucas. You want me to find His him? His body was found in the bazaar, horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. What do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. So we've got a big it's decision to make here. And we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. Hmm. And why should I work with you? You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals, doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you... You're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. 
Nah, look. We are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So, will you help me? I think there's other ways. Hmm. It wouldn't be bad to partner with these guys because they've obviously got their stuff together. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna dangle the carrot a little bit. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learn not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Hmm. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. I don't know if I like this. I, I, my heart's with the people. Look around. Not the man. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. We might be able to use this to our advantage, though. We're kind of a double agent. We can play both sides. Being on the fence is often even more dangerous, though. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't... I don't love this. Aiden, buddy. Good you're alive. Yeah. I got caught and questioned. Good. Otherwise, there will be a kill you. Meet me outside. How do I get out? This place is like a maze, dude. Gotta get up top. Please let me out of here. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna just drop, drop over the wall. Not the, the smoothest way of doing things, but we're okay. All right, let's let's go meet up with our boy. It's gonna be up top here. Stop. So, what did they want from you? Can we be honest? Here's the question. If you've been there like you said you'd be, I'm. <sighs> oh, oh! I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Ato doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's going to have problems. Ader said he might let me through to the center. If I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon. The Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. And he believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer, an artless one too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. Sounds like if our man. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. <laughs> Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. So we've got to go find some brass knuckles here, and uh, we're thinking that this fence thief might have something to do with it, might know where they are, might be able to help us out. So let's go try to find him, see what he's up to. Looks like he's going to be at one of these windmills that we could set up and expand our, uh, our territory a bit here. So it looks like this is going to come down. Jump to this. Just gotta hold on. It looks like our next thing. We jump that far. Oh my goodness. We made it. No, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed <laughs> That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. I mean, I'll activate this thing in the meantime. Or maybe not. Start a cutscene. Half-ass Tubi. Always taking a sweet time. 
Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. But wait, I just want to buy something. Shoot. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Uh, I don't think we're gonna let him get away. Can I? Hmm. Hack on. He's running away. I was gonna say, can I get that? But there's no way. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. Don't have time to get that. We're gonna have to come back and get it later, baby. So here we go. We got a minute, twelve seconds to catch this dude. Faster, Aiden. You almost got him. Wasn't sure if we were going to make that, but we did. We're going to take... Oh, no. I thought we were going to take damage there, but we're good. 56 seconds. We're gaining on him. Come on. Come on. Let's go, buddy. Sit down through here. Hup. Hup. This is a bad idea. We're going to be fine. Not to take any fall damage. We're 40 meters away. Let's go. He must know something about these things if he's running from us. Where's he at? Hack on. He's not here. Oh, impossible. I saw him right there. That little weasel must be hiding. Look around. Oh, wait. I see him. He's climbing. See that GRE building? He's climbing to the roof. Which GRE building? We'll take both these guys down. Search them up. They're over here feeding on something. He might have something for us. No. All right. So we're gonna go up, up this thing. I don't know how we're gonna. Hmm. We go around the side. We don't think we can just climb this, can we? Try to get up here. Lost him. But he's gonna be on that rooftop, Aiden. Find him. I don't know if we have the stamina to be able to make this happen, but I'm hoping we do. Go! Go! I looked over at this side. I feel like this side might be a little bit closer here. Come on, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Don't take your sweet time. Please. Go. Is this a jump pad? Oh, okay. Jump across to here. And we're up. Okay. Whew. We are really going to have to uh, have to expand our stamina at some point. I guess we can get to here. Try to get up to here. All right. Looks uh, like this is going to be our next move. Try to jump across. Got up there. And we're here. Hubert! I just want to talk. How you doing, my man? Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear. I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way. A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I've heard otherwise. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. Why'd you run away then? Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always throwing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas. Which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but... I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. 
tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. Gonna have to go pay Maya a visit then. some army barracks or some shit. Alright, I can find that. Appreciate your, uh, honesty there, sir. Okay. Hey, hack on. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. Throw some barracks there. The army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlooked them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. Alright, to the Meatpacking Square we go. Brand new objective, 227 meters away, not too bad. Stick to the rooftops, we'll be there in no time. Looks like this... Could be her spot. What's up with all the yelling? Up top, up top. Don't mind if I do. What is going on? Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah. But the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. <laughs> we searched him. And I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Go, are you going to be in so much trouble? Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass Hoosie what's it over? Are you nuts? The Hoosie what's it's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. I don't got that kind of money. 500? Are you crazy? Besides, why do you need so much money? What planet are you from? We don't have water, and water costs money. Maya, it's dangerous. Do you want the PK to arrest you? Give it to me now. All right. Nobody wanted to buy him anyway. Cut myself on him, too. Just like that. Way easier than I thought. We'll take it. Well, thank you, Maya. I, uh, I kind of feel like I wish I had something to give you in return. I don't have any money, for real. Okay, we're going to go back. We're going to talk to Ader. Hey, hack on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Ator with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. I mean, I just, I, I wonder if we're going to be able to be honest with him or what. I feel like it's probably not in our best interest to tell him we found it from a random kid, but who knows. I just don't want her to get in trouble. So we'll, we'll see. He's going to be very happy we found it, though, so hopefully this is going to get us the access that we need to that fishbowl. Night has officially fallen. Our immunity is dropping, and we've got limited time to get back, but it looks like we made it, baby. Gotta be careful jumping off of this. Boom. Back into the light we go and uh, welcome home. Gaining some uh, some good graces with the PKs here. Pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. 
I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. He's not gonna open in the tunnel to the central loop. Is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Of course not. Command wants me to find the killer. Aiders, you promised. Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this token of gratitude. Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. So someone in the bazaar with a cut. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. And those tattoos yeah, are what they value so much. The men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Peter wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. I'm doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. Jeez, you'll see. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I want to find out who the killer is. I want to find out why they did what they did. But at the same time, I don't think I'm automatically siding with the PK here. We've got to be smart. There's multiple factions you can choose from. We've got 305 meters all the way across. Is there a bed in here? We should probably hit the bed. A little bit nervous about turning in the middle of the night. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it that far without using some... Uh, some mushrooms and stuff. Are we going the right way? It's be interesting. I don't know who I want to side with yet. PK seem like some good ones that are pretty strong, but also kind of selfish. So, got to be careful. Brand new day. Nice leisurely stroll to the bazaar. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. Oh, man. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. 
I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. See, we're gonna have some decisions to make on what side we're gonna want to take. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? This guy's a bit of a crackpot. Bad and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. It's one way to look and at it. This is why we are here. Any more news? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What <laughs> are you then? A wolf. You better watch out. I'm relieved then. A true wolf doesn't have to announce he's a wolf. <laughs> I think it's time I set things straight too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Um. Got a package for her. No, you don't. Excuse me? Sophie knows no one outside of Villador. She was born and raised here. That's probably why she cares about this place so much. She's of great help to me. I mean, this guy's calling so, me out. Unless it's a package from across the street, I'll have to call your bluff. Who says I'm bluffing? I do. I could tell a mile away. But all right. I'll tell you where she is. And you know why? Why? Because whatever it is you want, even if your intentions are hostile, she'll handle you. Damn. We will handle you. Just as we handled you before, Pilgrim. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. Thanks. Wasn't that hard, was it? Don't lie to me again, Pilgrim. After all, I'm not lying to you, am I? Just want you to return the courtesy. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, we just got absolutely owned right there. He, uh, he ran circles around us. It's a bit crazy, but he's also very smart. Is this Sophie? Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, Yesterday, you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are. 
So far, at least. Fair enough. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their... F f f f f F fuckwits? Who? That fellow. Uh, 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 Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Oh, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, uh, a hundred and... <laughs> we'll get there eventually. That can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro, there's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Of course they want us to go to a dark zone. So we're going to have to wait till night. We're going to have to go down there, creep around in the dark, well, find some crystals. What did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman. See if Barney turned on his radio. Man, a few words, huh? Barney? Answer me. Barney? Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. How'd Barney get wounded? I can go he get him. He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. This is literally the exact opposite of what I would like to do. I'll explore in the city. You'll come across characters marked with that icon. These are nighttime stories, missions that are best completed at night. After you interact with the character, hold down to fast forward to night so the mission can begin right away. Gonna hold down to fast forward tonight here, baby. This is... Got a new parkour skill. That's good. This is not good. No time like the present. Here we go. We do have these little safe zones along the way, so that's good for us. How you doing? Thank you, man. Appreciate you. All right. Appreciate the hospitality. Parkour challenge. We're gonna want to keep going this way. We got people yelling and stuff. Looks like we want to go this way. <sighs> Nearly missed that. We're good. How you doing, man? Community booster or UV shrooms? Sure. All right. I got you, bro. Take what? You got a... Gave us a regeneration booster? Nice. Okay. It looks... Is this where we're going? Got a couple inhibitors. That's good. Let me pick these up. Beautiful. Is this where we're supposed to be going? Down there. Not gonna lie. I'm, I'm really terrified right now. Okay. So it's gonna be down below us? Right. 
Sophie? I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Holy shit, dude. I'm gonna try to pick up anything I can. We've got guys moving around over on the right over here, so we're gonna be careful about that. What is this? There's a crystal core that they were asking for. Okay, just keep scanning, Trev, and keep being smart here. I can't believe the... I'm pretty sure I just heard his radio. I just heard her talking to him on his radio. Is that him? That's gotta be Barney. Holy cow, Barney, what the heck did you do, bro? Is this Barney? Barney. Holy shit. You hear me? Report in, Tamak. Sophie. Satan, I found a radio, and a body, male, white, bald man. Um, That's not Barney, sorry, is it? Sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. That's Kojak, one of ours. Barney can't be far. Okay, good. Oh my god. Panic. Some information can be hidden in plain sight. To discover it, you need to use investigation. Press R to activate your survivor sense. It's going to create a path. You can use that to go through and figure things out. Okay. Let me make sure I grab whatever we can here. So these are his footsteps. Dude, all the... Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. All the music is not helpful. We're gonna have to go upstairs. Let me make sure there's nothing in here we can grab. No. Nope. Okay. Immunity's getting low. I'm gonna try to wait to the last minute if we can. Holy cow. We've got somebody moving around over here. We've got instant skill points. That, that zombie's trying to get in a door or something over there. It's got to be something to do with Barney. Just stay to shroom. Here we go! <laughs> Nobody else heard that? We're good? I'm going to grab this over here real quick. Search this, and then Barney's got to be behind this door. He must have locked himself inside. Fuck. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! Get her on the radio. Are our crystals. You get it? You won't get it. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, we found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. Tell us something only you would know. Barney? Go back to where you came from. I'm so stressed right now. Um. Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even kid Sophie out of it. But, but it's true. Damn, look, you're busy here, dipshit! She, she said Are you got you? hurt by the PKs. I'll count to three. One. Two. Three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting This is so from... dumb. Fuck. He's making so much noise. Oh my god. Great. You son of a bitch! Barney! No! 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 There was one over on the right, too. Come on. Barney, open the damn door and let's get out of here, Barney. Dead. Let's go. Dead. Immunity's critical. We've got more... More infected coming out of nowhere.
Gotta eat these troops. Oh my god, dude. I mean, these guys are pretty easy and it's it's kind of slow moving, but it is no less terrifying. Let that stamina come back a bit. Jesus Christ, there's so many of them. Oh my god. Oh, he's running at me. Immunity is critical. Are we good? Oh my god. Okay. Barney, if you don't open this goddamn door. Okay, that's it. Break it down, Aiden. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come this back This is a you. bad Hurry. idea. Hurry. Come on, let's not, how about we not? Let's pretend like we did. Sorry, man, saw his body out there. He was dead. Sorry. Time time to get back to, to, you know, reality. Let's get back home. Oh my goodness, okay. Gonna search for everyone here. Luckily, that reset our, our whatever you call it. Can we drop down here? There's nobody below? Nope, there's tons of guys below and we just almost royally messed up. Are we really going to be able to... You can beat these right next to a sleeping zombie? How do I get out of here? Can I kill him? Thank you. Get... Blood. There you go. Must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. <sighs> this is so fudged, dude. <laughs> Trail goes that way. He was up here. Oh, he... Okay, he, he came up these things. He came up this, and then he went up here, I think. We're gonna have to get up, jump. Oh gosh. Okay, more more zombies that he killed. There he is. We found him. Who are you? The maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney. <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> this is so messed up. He made it out, right? This kid's he so got young. the crystals. <coughs> Yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <clears throat> I pulled it off. <clears throat> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <clears throat> Listen. <clears throat> it's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see... <clears throat> over there. My radio. <clears throat> I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta. So you gotta Hello. turn. Oh, Mom. stop. <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost. 
Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen, we got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. He's not soon. making it back. We'll be back soon, Mom. Now does he He doesn't turn, does he? How does how does that work? I don't think he turns. Barney. You there? Barney? Aiden. You there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He what? He was supposed to I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. I'm gonna be honest, that's pretty messed up, and his friend's dead. So, I I mean, this is tough. He's he's gonna have a lot to answer for here. Um, all right, 146 meters back to the bazaar. Trying to figure out what our best option's gonna be. <sighs> Let's just get out of here, man. I over the night time. Oh sh What are you? You're just a normal one. Oh no, you're you're the really fast ones. You're super weak. Infected trophy rare. Okay. We'll take that. I'll take some chamomile as well or lavender or whatever the heck we got around here. Okay. We got something going on down there. What is that? Oh, that's one of the puker things. Okay, I, I'm I'm thinking let's let's just get back. I I think we I think we've overstayed our welcome. Just gonna get back to the bazaar. We can take this guy down, and we're home. We're alive, and that's what counts. Anxiety just through the roof. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuck where Big Lucas tough guy, huh? To die. Locking That's yourself in a closet? Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. I don't think he'd have it in him to kill Lucas. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. 
But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. Doesn't seem like it at all. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. I mean, your boy got a bunch of crystals, so hopefully Birdie? we can use these. It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? <laughs> so they're worthless. They're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Okay, I mean, it's good. We got a couple of them. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. <laughs> That's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. <laughs> a lot of That's disdain for those cool. guys. What was that about? They're pretty but strong, though. The PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. Damn. What Sounds like do? a problem that I'm gonna have what to solve. I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I wanna ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits, and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. 